this game's going to start differently than most. You're saying, wait, there isn't a tip. No. UCLA was hit with a technical foul for not delivering their lineup in time. So two free throws before the tip for Louisville. They go one for two and have an early one nothing lead before the tip. And a violation on the tip. Why not keep the violations going? Here's Arnasalo. Dugalich. London Jones, three, won't go. Long rebound secured by Louisville. They go cross the court. Roberts touches the paint, whips it out. Williams. The senior guard transfer from Miami. Now it's Cochran on a three. That's a range that you don't often see from Olivia Cochran. Right, she was one for seven from three a season ago, and that one looked smooth out of her hands. Really nice offensive possession followed here by terrific defense from Louisville. Off the steal, the layup is good for Williams. And a strong start here for Louisville. Dugalich leaves it ahead, and three won't go. Barnasalo, but another chance here for UCLA, and Benz gets free for the lay on the delivery from London Jones. Baseline jumper off the mark to Nyla Harris. And there you go. That's what happens to try and get a touch, and a lot of times you're going to get a whistle. Olivia Cochran picks up the person. Very close was talking to us about the development of Betts. He's saying, as that one drops in. Leaning jumper is good. You see Marissa Russell for a long time play a variety of roles with this Louisville team. Another good possession for Louisville. Sharing the basketball, getting dribble penetration, touching the paint. Good look at the basket. They bounce it inside, Betts a deep touch, the turn and the finish for Lauren Betts. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with Lauren Betts when she gets that kind of deep position. She's just going to turn, she can go over either shoulder, finish with either hand. Well, Easton Vulogu, check in for Louisville, attacking the glass here, able to save it. Sets up this three. Josh Roberts couldn't get the roll. Louisville looking to save again, but this time Russell's out of bounds, and it will be UCLA basketball. Seeing the sights, these teams have really enjoyed the fullness of the experience. Yeah, the Mona Lisa. That's yeah, always smaller than people realize. <laughs> In the corner, catch and shoot three is good. Gardner. Nailing the three. Arenas Berry, Russell. Out there as that goes down. Amari Berry nailing the jumper. A freshman guard, a five-star recruit. Here's Betts. Betts twisting, cupping, and finishing. Louisville dealing with an injury to Jada Curry. UCLA dealing with an injury to Kiki Rice. Two experienced playmaking guards. Cochran's jumper rims out. The putback attempt is good. McKinley Randolph gets on the board. This Ledger Walker is late December, early January when she returns will be hugely impactful. Here's Betts laying it up and off. Rebound, skids out to Louisville and Roberts. Roberts going behind the back. Roberts all the way in. Floats it home. Beautiful move from Taj Roberts. Louisville upset. No call there as Betts finishes plus the foul. And Lauren Betts a chance for three. But it's just a great reminder of what both Malaysia and Hannah Hidalgo did last year in Paris, introducing themselves to the nation. That first real step on what were historic freshman runs for both of them. And you never know who's going to make that impression today. That's right.
Williams bouncing, shot clock fading, catch and shoot three, rims out for Randolph. Cochran keeps it alive, gets it back, fading away, soft touch for Olivia Cochran. Even her misses have looked good so far in this first. Her touch, the, the, her follow through on her shot, just looking good. That's a carry from London Jones. Williams curling inside for the finish. Jalea Williams at the horn with the beautiful bucket to give Louisville a five-point lead after one. Who's the next Hannah Hidalgo? Malaysia for Wawu. What's up, Hawk? Freshman next. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. Well. We were both wrong and not on the same page in the first I was game. one point away from being right. Kayla Clark at so 799 wrong. points instead of 800. Kennedy Carter was the right answer. Put back attempt won't go for Barker. Louisville, by the way, was a plus eight on the glass in that first quarter. Artisalo lays it in. That's a really nice take from the Finnish baller. And three rims off. And a whistle. Going to stay here. That's a tough call. Ooh, Russell is down in pain. Louisville inbound, leading by three, second quarter action in Paris. And stepping out of bounds was Amari Perry. Said, look, if they all stay together, this is a class that has a chance to do some really big things at Louisville eventually. As that layup goes down. Nice take by Barker. Oh, what a take. I mean, this is a 6'4 athlete, and you know, her ability to get to the rim, make shots, just brings a lot of toughness to UCLA as well. Corey Cole told us she has been one of our best players throughout camp. Very excited about Barker and what she brings to this UCLA team. That three rattles in. It's going to be important to hit those perimeter shots for Louisville as UCLA stays in their zone. Taj Roberts on the three. Arnisalo to the corner. Gardner can hit the three. Conquer the box out. Saves it right to Betts. Betts could have just gone up with a layup, didn't realize it. Well, should take that instead. Gardner is the three. I don't ever mind that. But when your big gets the offensive board and does any indecision, pass out for the three, it's a great look. Second three for Gardner. Betts with a couple of assists. Tied at 20. That three. Off the mark for Roberts. Here comes Barker all the way in for the bucket and the foul. Janaya Barker a chance for three. Glad I got you. You did. East on Boulogu into the game for Louisville. Government jumper won't go. Boulogu got a hand on it. Good job defensively there from Louisville, but UCLA able to retain possession. Hawkins dumps it down. That's extra fee. Gardner connects on another three. And that's why you play for Lauren Betts. Taj Roberts. With pull up. And it's hit the three. Ugalich gets back to it. Her three. Back iron, no. Battle inside. Betts wins it. And Betts stepped out of bounds, turns it over for an eighth time. Third, stepping on the sideline or end line of the game. It's at least three. Hours or hers? No, no, hours. Yeah, today, hours. So yeah. far in this first half. Yes. There's been a lot. A, been lot, a lot of them. That's all I'm saying. There was I, a lot last year, too. I, I wonder if the line is a little thinner. Oh, Roberts, again. And Josh Roberts saying, if you're going to give me that, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to hit it. Global back in front on back-to-back -back Roberts threes. And Louisville has the one-point lead. Patel talking to Jeff Walls. He's very excited about this freshman recruiting class that they have. Gardner. No. 
The putback is good. Janaya Barker is just so springy. One point UCLA lead under three minutes to go in this first half. Arenas rattles it a three. Wow. I mean, under two minutes to go in this first half. Jones lobs it in. Wow. Bets the catch around several bodies able to lay it in with the left hand. That was an incredibly difficult catch for Lauren Betts. Five second difference game and shot clock. Roberts, Megan Williams, trying to toss to Roberts, throws it out of bounds. <laughs> you and I do. <laughs> we do. Arnie Salo, back to Dugalich, lobs it in, Betts, two seconds left. Jones, connects! What a possession to end the half for UCLA. The patience, the poise, and the precision. A three. Okay, now we're going to do it all together. Corey Close in her 14th season leading UCLA and Jeff Walls in his 18th leading Louisville. A trap right away here by Louisville in the backcourt. Here's Jones, her three, no. Rebound flagged down by Nyla Harris for Louisville. Harris twisting and banking it in. Jeff Walls has been raving about Nyla Harris for the last couple of years. He's always talked about her motor and her willingness to work and improve. It's a sweet little move. Uh -huh. Arnesalo bangs inside, can't finish. Rebound secured by Randolph. Now it's Williams off to Roberts again. Taj Roberts with the stroke. And Jeff Walls told us she has that Roberts has been their most consistent three-point shooter throughout the course of training camp. And how about her today? Three of six from three. Nice finish on the interior from Jaquez. Jaime Jaquez of the Heat is Gabriela's older brother. There are similarities in the way they play with just the little things they do to affect winning. Cochran left alone. She took one without hesitation early and made it. Did not attempt that one, but a baseline jumper from Harris and the Louisville bench. Animated. And that was the right decision by Cochran that time. Arnisalo dumping it in, and Betts gets it with a personal. Her first, it's a foul. it will get called. Yes. Williams, cuts through two. Oh, what a setup for Harris. A beautiful move from Jalea Williams. And Harris has six points in this third quarter. Louisville's lead is four. Nine to run for Louisville. Betts plays it in. Patience and balance. Cutting through Williams again. Able to escape through traffic. It's been a really good energy from Louisville, in particular on the defensive end of the floor here in the third quarter. Disruptive. Arne Salo. Well, she's had some really impressive minutes. The finished freshman. Williams again stops, shovels right into the gut of Arne Salo. Well, they don't call a foul. Looked like there should have been one on Louisville. Instead, Arne Salo all the way in for two. What do you think about Arne Salo? Hey. Wow. That <laughs> just took it away. Jeffermans didn't even know what was happening. Jones cutting in. That's going to be a block. And London Jones will shoot two. Favorite French foods, Rebecca. Oh, yes, we look so stylish. I got to love croissants, macaroons. And then, you know what? I, I love my croque monsieur, but I should have put 
champagne in there. I didn't know we could add a liquid. The champagne would be number one on my list. Well, when you're in Paris, it's all mostly, well, maybe not mostly, but it is about the liquids, and I went with Macron. 42-40 UCLA in front of Louisville. And Louisville turns it over. Arnie Salo kicks, Jones is three, is good. Really good assist by Arnie Salo, breaking down, getting paint touch, and then spraying out for the three. I know UCLA run, lead is five, tough bucket. Cochran way off. Gardner off the rebound at her pocket, picked. Off the steal, Williams unable to lay it in, but gets to the line. That's a big swing there. Kiki Rice out, hurt her shoulder in practice. So she is day to day, but not playing today for UCLA. Just Very talented junior. Yes, yeah, so it just brings a different level of experience yeah. and poise from that point guard position, size as well. Season ago, averaged 13 points, about four and a half assists a game. Really good leader for the Bruins. Louisville's first points in over three minutes. You like that music, huh? I've been thinking recently that there's just simply not enough accordion music in my life. You're right. Get Steve to learn. <laughs> What a take. Oh, Williams. Parker lost it. Parker with five to shoot. Can hit off the crossover. Good box outs all around for Louisville. East on Bulogu with a rebound. Williams gets denied by Parker. Williams gets it back. Fires underneath. And Cochran lays it in. Ole Miss came back from down 15 at a lead late loss by two to USC. As Gardner drills the three, and UCLA laying it on to a two-point lead over Louisville. Roberts can't hit the layup, got inside, just couldn't finish. Letting it wind. Seven on the shot clock. Jones to the corner. Parker's runner, and she's fouled. And I have Barker is going to shoot two. But Corey Close just raved to us about Janiah Barker, how great she has been. Brought an edge that this team needs, that she felt like was missing last year, especially in their loss to LSU in the Sweet 16. Mari Perry was trying to get free and just could not. Shot clock's at nine, just a slight difference game in shot clock. Perry. Three to shoot, gives it up. That jumper is off for Juffermans, and that'll do it for the third. UCLA, fifth ranked team in the nation, a four point lead over number 17, Louisville, in Paris. Fourth quarter action is. There's just. It's just never going to sound as good. Got my Connecticut accent in English, and that's the best I can do. Do you have a Connecticut accent? Uh, uh, like a New Britain accent. Okay. Those in, in, in the Nutmeg State understand. Understood. In the corner. Three doesn't go down for Russell. The putback is good. Juffermans, the Australian freshman. Outstanding deny. Everywhere on the floor. Outstanding wow, deny by with it. D. Jones still able to make it count, though. Draining the three. Three of seven from downtown. Roberts toe on the line. Can't hit. Betts another rebound. That is her attempt to go with 14 points. The layup is good. Arnie Salo gets to the cup. And a timeout take. Williams gives it up. Roberts tend to shoot. Against the zone, Williams. And Louisville turns it up. Hawkins lays it in. UCLA feeling good, leading by nine. They can use this one in the corner. And Roberts gives it to him from deep.
Louisville fans have to be so excited about this young woman. She has come to play here today. London Jones in and out. Bets the old board and the put back. That's another one of those plays from Lauren Betts where she just looks like the much older sibling. Yeah. Much older, much taller, just reaches over you. It's like the, the steal she had earlier in the half where she <laughs> ripped it out of the hand. It's what we felt at times with Camilla Cardoso last year. Yes, yes. 6 7. That's Betts as well. That one's off for William. Dump it down to Betts. Who lays it in? There you go. Lauren Betts has made a lot of buckets look very, very easy to do. Back iron on a three. Another chance for Louisville. Roberts racing in, drops it home. I love that quick first step. Going baseline, it didn't look like there was much room there, and she put on the Jets. I mean, you're right. If you're a Louisville fan, you have to be very excited about what you've seen from Taj Roberts against presumably one of the best teams in the nation. And Roberts. Oh, nice look. And Cochran gets fouled off a gorgeous setup from Roberts. Here's next Sunday's women's college basketball line. Charlotte with the second game between Virginia Tech and Iowa taking place on ESPN2. We'll be in Charlotte for that, partner. We'll be in Charlotte for that. Oh, nice take, but no finish. Loose ball. Hawkins gets fouled. Solo bounces. Hawkins wheels out of it. Dumps it in. Bets the delivery. Gardner connects. Again, bets to Gardner. Barker loves it. And UCLA's lead is 10. UCLA team that last year had nine wins against ranked teams. Their most in 25 seasons. There you go. Roberts at 21 points now. Eight-point game. And a turnover. Louisville with some life here. Williams gets fouled. And Julia Williams will go to the line to shoot two and can make it a six-point game. Unlike the first game we had today, there have not been many free throw attempts. In the first game, USC made their final 17 free throws en route to a two-point win. So Williams hits the second, seven-point game. UCLA has turned it over 21 times. You know Louisville going to try and duplicate what they just did to them. Gardner gets it across to Hawkes. There goes the trap. And another steal. Here comes Louisville. Williams dishing out a three. Off the mark for Arenas. Rebound Gardner. Louisville has to trap again or foul. And they'll foul London Jones and put her on the line. Jones at the line. Sinks the first. 12 points for London Jones. I like the no dribble free throw routine. Yeah. Less room for error. Remember, that's what Elena Deladon, maybe the greatest free throw shooter of all time, would say when we talk to her about her routine. 66-57. UCLA the lead. Here's Louisville off the inbound. Roberts, 12 seconds left. Williams cuts through two. Lost the ball, flings it out. That jumper is good with three seconds remaining. But that will do it. UCLA able to hold off Louisville and win in Paris. 66-59, the final.